they violated every past precedent. They violated all forms of due process. Now, they say that's a process argument, and it is, but it's more than that. It's more than that. If you feel confident in your facts, then why do you design a process that completely shuts out the president? Why do you cook up the facts in a basement skiff instead of in the light of day? Why do you do that? Why don't you allow the minority to call witnesses as they've had, to do, have, have had the right to do in all past impeachments? And then they come here and say, by the way, we were fully in charge, so completely in charge that we locked out the president's counsel, denied all rights, denied the minority any witnesses at all. But when we come here, they, don't, they still don't get witnesses. They want you not only to do their job, but to make the same mistake, the same violation of due process that they did. They said, well, let's just pick the witnesses that we want. The other ones are irrelevant, not relevant. I've, in listening to Mr. Schiff over the, these months, I've come to a determination about what he means by irrelevant. He means bad for them, okay? He means witnesses that the president wants to call. So I don't know why they did that. I'll say something else. I'll say something else. I have respect for you and I have respect for the House. And when I first got this job, I went, one of the first things I did is I went to visit Mr. Schiff, Chairman Schiff, I went to visit Chairman Nadler, I went to visit Chairman Cummings at that time, and I said, we're here to work with you, to cooperate where we can, but in the institutional interest, obviously, we'll participate in oversight, but if we have constitutional points to make, we'll make them and we'll make them directly. And the administration has uh, participated in oversight. Many, many witnesses have testified in oversight hearings. Large number of documents have been produced in oversight hearings. And in fact, in the letter that I sent on October 8th, I made the same offer. I said, look, this is not really a valid impeachment proceeding for all of the reasons that we've stated, but if the committees wish to return to the regular order of oversight, request, we stand ready to engage in that process. But that never happened. So I respect Congress. The administration respects Congress, but we respect the Constitution.